Each and every one of you being with us this morning. Come on, give God a praise right where you are. Let you come in, God. 
God. So now that you have given us the safe passage to allow us to come together and fellowship, not only one with another, but more importantly with you, God, we ask, Lord, that you would come in and just have your way in this service. Let nothing that we do be about fame, Lord. Let everything that we do, God, be about magnifying, praising you, and glorifying your name, God. Let this service be a blessing to someone that is watching. Let souls be saved. Let somebody be touched. Let somebody be delivered. Let somebody be set free from the bounds of sin is our prayer, Lord. And for this, God, we'll continue to give you glory, to give you honor, and to give you praise. It's all yours anyway. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. If you have your Bibles at home, go ahead and go to the book of Psalms. We're going to be going out of the 86th Psalm. We're going to cover verses 8 through 13. Again, that is the 86th Psalm, verses 8 through 13. Amen. 86th Psalm, verses 8 through 13. And the Bible reads this way, Among the God, the little g gods, there is none like unto thee, O Lord, neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and doest wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord, I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord, my God, with my, all my heart. Uh, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. The last verse, verse 13. For great is thy mercy toward me. And thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. May the Lord's word be blessed. Uh, and let us not just be hearers of the word, but doers of the word. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. 
Jesus. I bind violence in our neighborhood, Lord. In the name of Jesus, God. Remove the drug dealer, God. Let the people that are experiencing homelessness in the name of Jesus, God. Send someone out, God, to minister to them, to bless them, God, to give back to the poor, God. Meet every need in the name of Jesus, God. We are praying for our unsafe family members, God. Lord, I believe you heard the prayers of the righteous, God. You have seen how we cried out for them, Lord. I am praying that you would save them, God. That you would set them free, God, from the bondage in the name of Jesus. Pull down the stronghold, God, in their mind, God, in every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. In the name of Jesus, God. Lord, I am praying that they will have a revelation, God, in a in the name of Jesus, God. But until that day is manifested, cover them with your blood. Don't let not one of them die, God, without knowing you in the name of Jesus. I am praying for those who are sick, God. Many of us have family members on ventilators in the name of Jesus. Breathe your life into them in the name of Jesus, God. You said that we shall pray for the sick, God. And we may not be able to physically let it hand on them. But we lay hands on them in the spirit realm, God. And we are declaring that they will recover in the name of Jesus. The sickness has no place in the bodies of believers. And we find it in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, give us knowledge, God. Help us to be wise in the name of Jesus as we navigate through this dark time in the name of Jesus, God. Pray for those who are essential workers. Cover them with your blood, God. For every person who has to leave their house to go to work, God, I bind traffic accidents. I bind COVID in the name of Jesus. Cover us with your blood, God. In the name of Jesus, help us to be ministering on our job. And help us to be the light into the world and salt into this earth, God. I believe that you are coming soon, God. Help us to be about your business. Then you will be about our business in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are praying for a Holy Ghost revival, God, in this church and in this land, God. We want your kingdom to become and your will to be done, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Well, praise the Lord. What a powerful prayer coming from our own aspiring missionary, Patrice. Freeman, I know that you felt that prayer at home. I know that uh, those that she prayed for, they are covered. Because we believe when we pray that the Lord hears our prayers and that he responds in his perfect timing. So it's already done in the name of Jesus. Now, we pray that you have enjoyed uh, being with us in this service thus far. Now, I know not everybody can sing, not everybody can pray like Patrice, and not everybody can play that organ like Dr. Carmen, but everybody has an opportunity to participate in this service. Guess what time it is? It is offering time. This is your opportunity to be a blessing to this ministry. As we pray, this ministry is being a blessing uh, to you. So although the church doors are not fully open yet, as always, we thank you for joining us today. And we pray that this ministry is a blessing to you. Now, the offering isn't about the budget. It's about connecting with God personally and getting involved in his work, especially when you give and you don't think you have it. That's where you have to depend on God and trust on God. All right. If you'd like to become an e-member, let me assure you that this is good ground to sow your seed and be connected to this ministry. What's our vision? Our vision is to become the center of our community, addressing the needs of our seniors, adults who self-medicate and are looking to make a change, as well as the needs and concerns of our youth. A lot of people just miss the youth that they don't have needs and concerns, but they do. Amen. These are exciting and challenging times, and we value and appreciate your involvement in this ministry. Now, there are three ways that you can sow a seed. Saints, uh, download the Givelify app. 
um, search Saints Home Church Los Angeles. Then simply just click the give button. Amen. You can write a check, make it payable to Saints Home Church of God in Christ, and mail it to us at 7801 South Main Street in the city of Los Angeles. Zip code is 90003. You can also click the Use App button on a, the Saints Home Facebook page that you are watching right now and be a blessing that way. If you would like to partner with us, we welcome partners, amen, um, and join us in making all of these visions a reality. Please email us at saintshomechurch7801 at gmail.com. I assure you I read every single email that comes through. Those of you that have prayer requests, those of you that are asking for prayer for someone else, simply email me and I'll respond to your email. Now, looking to the Lord in prayer, Father God, we do thank you for all of these that wanted to, that are, have been a blessing to this ministry in whatever way they gave, God, whether they've given us their time, whether they've given us their attention, or whether they've given it to us monetarily, God. We ask that you would bless each and every giver, God. Return unto them. 30, 60, even a hundredfold, in whatever way you decide to do it, my God, whether you make the tires last longer on the car or the clothes last longer on their back, however you do it, God, we're thankful that you are doing it, God, that those that had a sheer desire to be a blessing to this ministry today, but just didn't have it, God, we ask that you would open up the door, make a way out of seemingly no way, so that they can do as their heart so desires the very next time we come together. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, I pray. And I thank you in advance for every single gift. Now, some of you are looking at me and saying, Pastor, why did you open up the prayer and have scripture? And I do the offering appeal often, but we have a guest speaker with us on today. He's not a guest to me, and I'm sure he's not a, a stranger to you either. He's been with us before, Pastor Louis Driver. That's my cousin. We go way back. Um, he's a young man, younger than me, amen, uh, talks about playing basketball, he's a coach uh, for basketball, but he's also a man of God. I see him often praying, I see him often dedicating his time to studying. So he's going to give to us today a word from the Lord that is surely going to bless us. So after the selection from the choir, the very next voice that you will hear will be my cousin and our own Pastor Louis Driver. Amen. The choir is coming at this time.
I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, hallelujah. Wash your robes, hallelujah. They, they may have the right to the tree and may go through the gates, hallelujah. You may be seated in the name of Jesus. I'm going to just give to you what God has gave to me, hallelujah. Hallelujah. My cousin started last week in Ezekiel, and I'm going to go and start with Ezekiel. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord came to me in Ezekiel chapter 12. Hallelujah. And it says here in Ezekiel chapter 12, for, let's see, but I, the Lord, will speak what I will say, and it shall be fulfilled without delay. For in your days, your rebellious people, I will fulfill whatever I say, declares the Sovereign Lord. Verse 26 says, The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, the Israel, uh, and saying, The vision he see is for many years from now, and he prophesies about something in the distant future. Verse 28 says, Therefore say to them, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, None of my words will be delayed any longer. Whatever I say will be fulfilled, declared the Lord. Hallelujah. God is actually coming back. Hallelujah. And I just want him to work here. Lord, I ask that you would just speak to me today, to your people, and bless your name. Saints home, I want you to know that somebody has been praying for you. The Psalms 91 the hedge of protection is around and about you. Psalms 91, I believe the Lord is saying to you, whomever dwell in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I believe that God's protection, His hedge, is all about and around you here, saints, home, in every single member listening to my voice. Verse 2 says, I will say... I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, hallelujah, my God in whom I will trust. Surely he will save us and you, hallelujah, from the snares, hallelujah, from the snares, hallelujah, and from the deadly pestilence. These pestilence that are going around through the coronavirus, we say to you, Psalms 91 is over you, saints home, hallelujah. Verse 4 says, he will cover you with his feathers. Hallelujah. Take this into heart, saints home. And under his wing, you will take refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampant. Hallelujah, saints home. God is protecting you with a hedge of protection. And your pastor and a leadership is praying for you. Hallelujah. That you would be protected through this virus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, you will not fear from the terror, nor night, nor of the arrow that flies, nor day, nor the pestilence that stalk in darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. The pestilence out there, the coronavirus, mm -hmm. your pastor, your leadership, the first lady, the leadership is praying for you. Psalms 91 is on you, protecting you. Hallelujah. Here's what you will be able to actually see, saints home. A thousand may fall at your side. You may be seeing the coronavirus go up and the counts go up. Hallelujah. You may see 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come to you. Declare the Lord. Hallelujah. All God. Hallelujah. And you may feel your refuge. He will be your protection. Hallelujah. You will be able to see with your eyes the numbers of this plague go up, but you will be protected because God is actually protecting you. Hallelujah. And you'll be able to see the, the wicked actually fall. Hallelujah. I believe God actually has a protection around and about you, saints homes, and you are seeing Psalms 91 fulfilled before your eyes, where you see the arrow and the pestilence go out and destroy people and take people out of here. Even some other saints have left here in 2020, but I want to let you know that if you 
hallelujah, serve the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. His blood, hallelujah, that was shed on Calvary will continue to keep you protected. That is the reason why you are not in a solid, you're not in a sick bed today. It's because the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob, his name is Jesus, is protecting you with his blood so you are able to see what's happening in the world. See, God is actually preparing us for a shaking that's going on. Oh, hallelujah, right now. He is preparing us, hallelujah, that everything that could be shaken will be shaken in this last days. <laughs> He's letting me know that there is a mark that's coming. There is a mark that's coming, and there's going to be a mark that's coming. It's a mark that's not of God, it's a mark of man that is coming. And he right now is marking you, beloved, with his mark. He's putting this hedge of protection around and about you. Hallelujah. Says the Lord God as he's prepared us to shake us, to wake us up, to see that you will actually be able to see his word will not be delayed anymore. Hallelujah. I want to go to you today in the name of Jesus. I won't keep you long. I want you to consider my servant, Job. I want you to go to the Bible where Job, hallelujah, and let you know that you have a hedge of protection, saints home, around and about you through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. See, Job was an upright man. If you go to Job, hallelujah, chapter 1, it says in the land of is there was a man living whose name was Job, and this man was blameless and upright. Hallelujah. And he feared God. Hallelujah. Must fear the Lord in his day and time. Hallelujah. Back in the days when Moses used to worship on the mountains, hallelujah, and have his presence with God, hallelujah, those people feared the Lord, hallelujah, when he was up on the mountains, hallelujah. And when God said move, they moved, hallelujah. And when God said obey the word, they obey the word. We have to be a people now that listen, hallelujah, but not only listen, but be doers of the word of God, hallelujah, because he there is two marks coming, hallelujah. God is marking his people now, hallelujah, with the blood and with his protection, hallelujah. But there is a mark that's coming by the enemy, hallelujah. And you have to choose today who you must serve, hallelujah. If you're going to serve God, then serve God. If you're going to serve the enemy, then serve the enemy. But God is doing the shaking, hallelujah. And you must, hallelujah, know who you may serve in this day and time, hallelujah. We got to be a people like God. God, hallelujah, we got to be a people like Job, hallelujah, to be blameless and actually run away from evil. It said Job in chapter number one, verse two, he, him and his sons, he had uh, seven sons and three daughters, and he had his own 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yokes of ox, and 500 donkeys, and had a large number of servants. He was a great man among the people of the East. Hallelujah. You know, people come to me all the time right now. This coronavirus has actually attacked people's mental stability. Yeah. See, people are worried about their future. They're worried about their jobs. They're worried about their health. They're worried about their 401k. And am I going to actually make it? Hallelujah. Am I going to actually survive? I'm going to go back to Job, but I want to let you know that God has got you. Can you say God has got me? God. Can you say God has protected me? God. Can you say God loves me? God. Can you say Jesus loves me? Jesus. Hi, Jesus loves me. I'm looking for the scripture, but in Jeremiah chapter 29, it said that God is actually, he has a future for you. Can you say God has a future for me? He says in Jeremiah, and I'm going to go back over to Job and close out, but in Jeremiah, I want you to know that God has a future for you. He says in Jeremiah 29, hallelujah, he says, I will come to fulfill my good promise to bring him back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you. See, God actually has a plan for you, declares the Lord. Hallelujah. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. I want you to know the reason why you are prospering and you are actually seeing the wicked. Hallelujah. And you've not even only seen some wickedness, hallelujah, past, but you've also seen some people who may have been 
uh, saints actually left this home. God actually has his hands of protection around and about you. Don't take it for granted to just say that I am lucky and it's my mask that's protecting me. It's not your mask that's protecting you. It's the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank God for my pastor. Hallelujah. My cousin, he does all the protocol to make our protected here in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. He makes everything right for you. Make sure everything is clean and bring you the word of God. But I don't want you to get it twisted. It was the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. That when the death angels were going through the issues, they were going to destroy the people. It was the blood of God. Hallelujah. But I want to let you know, saints home, hallelujah, that your pastor and first lady has been praying for you. Hallelujah. Praying the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And let you know that God, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Has a plan to prosper you. Future. Hallelujah. How uh, Jesse Jackson used to say is keep hope alive. I want to let you know that Jesus, hallelujah, kept hope alive when he got out of the grave and raised from the dead. Hallelujah. He kept hope alive. So in 2020, that you would have a future and hope that when everybody else will be panicking and say what my future is going to be, it is God. Hallelujah. That will keep us. Hallelujah. But we must decide who we shall serve, hallelujah, in this day and time. In the name of Jesus, I want to talk to you again about the hedge of protection. There is a hedge of protection, hallelujah, and that hedge of protection is all around and about you. If you look at verse 6 in Job, one day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with them. The Lord said to Satan, where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, from roaming through the earth and going back and forth. Then the Lord said to Satan, Satan, have you considered my servant Job? Say it to your neighbor. Can you say, can you consider my servant Job? 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 The reason why you want to consider Job is Job actually had a, a bad hair day that day. Job actually had to deal with a pandemic that day. That pandemic was Satan, and Satan was going out to try to remove that hedge of protection around and about him. Yeah, Job actually went through a pandemic, but the enemy was trying to destroy him, just like he's trying to destroy us today. See, the same thing is going on that happened to Job. See, the enemy knows this book here. He knows that he has an appointed time before it's all over. He knows that, you know what, time is getting ready to wrap up. And I don't want to fool you right now. I can't tell you that Jesus is coming tomorrow at 2 o'clock. But the enemy knows that this Bible is true. He knows that it's true more than some of us actually would know it's true. He knows that God actually created the whole world. See, the enemy knows that God actually created every single angel that rebelled against him. He knows that God actually breathed the breath of life in there. The enemy knows that. And he wants to keep us blind and tells us that Jesus ain't coming back. The enemy is alive. God is coming back and the Bible is real. Hallelujah. And the word of God is actually being fulfilled. Hallelujah. And I want to keep going here where I want you to know Saints home that there is a hedge of protection yeah. around and about you. That's why it says, don't give your, your leaders a hard time because they're praying for your souls. They're watching for your souls. Your pastor and his first wife is protecting you with the blood. Each and every day they're on their knees protecting you and bringing you and feeding you the word of God. You must lift up your pastor and the leadership and continue to support them because there is your protection, hallelujah. It's just like the man of the house is the protection of a home, hallelujah. And he's actually protecting the family and the wife and the kids, hallelujah. You gotta be obedient, hallelujah, and follow the word of God, hallelujah, because it's protection, hallelujah. I'm telling you, without the protection and the blood, hallelujah, you can run into some trouble, hallelujah. And that's why Satan wants to remove it. Hallelujah, I'm going back to verse number eight. Then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant? There is no one on the earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man that feared God. Hallelujah. Satan is the enemy. Satan is the enemy. He rules in deception. He tried to get Adam and Eve, and he did. 
He's been trying to get us every single time. He's a liar. He's an enemy. He will come like an angel of light to actually deceive us. Hallelujah. Try to deceive us. He's an enemy. But he wants to remove your head. I'm pleading with you to stay in the Bible. Stay with the blood. Hallelujah. Does Job fear God for nothing? This is Satan's reply. Have you not put a hedge around him at his house? There's a hedge that holds everything he has. You have blessed the work of his hands so that his flock and his herds are spreading through the land. Hallelujah. See, the enemy wants you dead. Hallelujah. But stretch out your hands and everything he has, and surely he will curse you. That's something we need to know, that the enemy is a liar, that he wants to destroy you, and he knows that his time is short. He wants to remove that head, saints. Continue to pray. Continue to love Jesus. Continue to read your word. Hallelujah. Don't let that hedge be removed from around and about us. Hallelujah. But now stretch out your hands and strike everything he has, and he will surely curse God. He will surely curse you to his face. Hallelujah. Can you say bless the Lord? Bless the Lord. Can you say bless the Lord? Bless the Lord. I'm getting ready to close. Verse 12 said, the Lord said to Satan, very well then. Everything that he has is in the power, your power. But the man himself do not lay a finger. God is still protecting us. Hallelujah. He's still protecting our health. Hallelujah. He's not letting Satan destroy our bodies. Then Satan went out. Hallelujah. Y'all heard where it says Satan is busy? Satan is going out and starting to do his work. Hallelujah. Then it says Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. And then one day, when Job's son and daughter were feasting and drinking wine and the oldest brother in the house, a messenger came to Job and said, The ox were plying and the donkey was grazing and near the sabbaths and they attacked and made off with them and they put the servants to the sword and I'm the only one to escape. I'm closing with my word. Mm -hmm. If you continue to read the book of Job, he had a bad day. He had a pandemic, and that pandemic was Satan. But I want to let you know, as we close with my sure word and as you stand today, that, hallelujah, it's no coincidence that Psalms 91 was read, read today. It is, is God who is actually keeping his angels of protection around and about you. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Can you just thank God for his blood? Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for Pastor First Lady. Thank you for the leadership here. Thank you for the ministry here, Lord God, and what you're doing here, Lord God, and continue to bless them, continue to strengthen them, continue to meet every single need in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to close with this and just let you know that Jesus is coming back. He's coming back. It's a shaking that's going on and everything that could be shaken could be shaken. Everything that can be shaken. That's why he writes to the, the churches in Revelations. And he said, repent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So repent. Hallelujah. So we, we have to have not just our garments, but to repent and turn back from the Lord to actually honor him as a God that actually goes to generation to generation that makes covenants that has way back looked and seen us in 2020. He saw this day. Yeah. It's no surprise. Hallelujah. And he says, continue to dwell in me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Continue to dwell in me as I dwell in you. Hallelujah. Continue to call upon my name. Hallelujah. Now is the time to get your second breath, hallelujah, because there is something that's coming, hallelujah, that you're going to need the mark of the Lord, hallelujah. Yeah. Something is coming upon this world that people who don't have Jesus 
all of the people who are having stress in their mind, hallelujah, who want to commit suicide, hallelujah, they need the hope of glory that what you have inside of you, hallelujah. All the people who are stressed because they don't have jobs, they need the hope of glory, hallelujah. Every broken home, every broken relationship, they need the hope of glory who's inside of you, hallelujah. So Lord, we call upon you. We repent of all of our sins, like, hallelujah, Lord, every single sin, we repent of them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We repent for our nation, hallelujah, of every single sin, Lord God. We repent for neglecting you, hallelujah. We repent, hallelujah, we haven't feared you, hallelujah, the way we should. We repent for not acknowledging you as the only one, and Lord, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, and we turn to you, Jesus Christ. We turn to Calvary. Right now, we turn to the cross and we ask that you would come into our lives and give us strength, Lord God, and give us guidance through this time, hallelujah, and open up your word that would come light to us, Lord God. Help us to read your word and read your word and pray in your word and act in your word and work in your word and deliverance in your word and power in your word in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Help us to be the light of this world. Thank you. 